the title of Candyland came from the board game Candyland. Um, so I was thinking of composition for the pay and coming up with like ideas and like the colors I wanted to use. And we have a game board, a game room with the board games and a solely Candyland. So I researched Candyland because when I you know, when play, I'm like, this game is pointless, right? There's no rules. So I researched it to find out if we were just playing it wrong, right? But no, the game is pointless. There are no rules. <laughs> so it kind of inspired. That's what inspired, inspired the title. Painting is me thinking about oh, my children growing up in a world without a father. Um, it's almost it's like they would be in a candy land, right? There was there would be no. Um, I mean, my, my wife is a strong person, but no like authoritative male figure in their life. So they probably would get away with a lot of stuff. Right, so it would be like a candy land. It would be like they're living in a world with no rules, and I guess probably shouldn't think about like, okay, this is gonna happen to my kids if I wasn't here. But I mean, the reality is I had to think about what would happen to my kids if I wasn't here. So, so they'll be living in candy land, like a real life version of candy land. That's why it looks almost like graphic. Because the board game, the colors are pink, white, and, and red. Um, they actually had these uh, dresses, so it made it a lot easier to, you know, think about them like that. But yeah, and then um, like the variegation leaf in these paintings they kind of represent like the world. So it's almost like they're in a world of like it's, it's variegated, right? So there's no pattern. There's no like. I mean, the way I use it is structural. There's no real structure to the pattern. So it's like they're in this world of no structure, just existing with no rules, like Candyland. Her name is Gabrielle. She's at home. She's quiet, um, more reserved. She opens up once you get to know her, but I mean, if she doesn't know you, she's usually quiet. My youngest daughter, Lauren, is the complete opposite. Like, man, um, she's a very nice person, right? But she's very energetic, very outgoing. She's never met a stranger, like, she will give you a run for your money. But in the same breath, she looks up to her older sister, like, it, it, it's crazy, like, yeah, she really They're holding hands in the painting. Primarily because I wanted to show how close they are because they're like the best of friends. Even though they're opposites, right? They're like the best of friends. And also, I was thinking if I wasn't here, like I know my oldest daughter would comfort her, like right, and she's gonna play her protector. She basically would just take on the role that I would be leaving. So like I said the um. Variegation leaf is representational of an environment that it's always changing. Um, it's not really structured, like you can't really control it. And I just wanted to show them existing in that environment because we can't control like outside sources or even though we live in the world. And it's almost a thing like I guess I'll quote my grandmother, right? We're in the world, but not of the world. That kind of thing. I don't know if I would say challenge. Um, 
I would say it's a conversation. Um, so, all of the people in the exhibition are looking at you, and it's more of a conversation than a challenge, right? Um, they're green because of, you know, perception and everything I'm talking about, but it's also like, do you see us? How do you see us? Can you see us? Yeah, so I guess it's like, how do you see us? Well, because my younger daughter challenges everyone. She, she's never met a stranger, but... Yeah, she's definitely a protector, right? Um, she's fierce, man. Like, I don't know. She is... Also, on uh, like reference photos, right? I think she's used to me telling her to just look straight. She gives them some scholarly some looks. She's always just like, you know, she takes all the emotions off her face. I've been painting her for a while now, so she knows to just, you know, take the emotions off and just look straight from the camera. Um, yes, because that's something that is still in them, right? So I always tell my oldest to look out for my sister. For some reason, we've never had to tell my youngest to look out for her older sister because <laughs> she was just born with it. And like I call her my Brooklyn baby because I mean, yeah, I don't know how she got it, man. Like she's been here before. So my oldest is like an old soul, like, she likes, you know, old school music and cooking and ballet and theater and that kind of stuff, right? But my youngest, like, there's no getting over on her, like, I don't know, I don't know, for artistic purposes, I don't know how to describe her, but <laughs> you just have to meet her, you need her to know what I'm talking about. Possibly. Um, of course, I want people to give my children reverence, right? But at the time, I was studying a lot of religious paintings. So I'm sure that crept into the work. When I stumbled upon this material, I didn't stumble upon it, I was doing some research and I found it. And I was looking, ways, looking for ways to use it. This body of work just seemed to be the perfect opportunity. And I used it in a couple of the paintings to represent, you know, outside influences of the world beyond my home. And, you know, it's almost like how the world sees my children or how my children will exist in the world. It's almost the same in every painting, right? Um, it's outside influences or how would they respond to the world? This back wall has become somewhat of a family portrait in itself. Um, we're all on different canvases, and I believe we're all showing our personalities on each canvas. Yeah, so I think it turned out great. There, there's almost a religious quality to this back wall too, um, with all the gold, the red, and the gold frames, and the positions of the characters. Were. Um. Yeah, so when I build a body of work, it's almost like writing a script. So I would say, yes, we're all characters in this like real life uh, movie or real life 
exhibition or however he would categorize it, but yes, it's, and, you know, it's, and my family, we all have our roles to play too, so yes, we're all characters. So yeah, I don't want people to come to the exhibition and be like, oh, that's Clarence, right? Um, you can look at me as like the father figure. That's why the, um, the introductory piece, we're all on separate campuses, but there's no names. It's just like father figure, mother figure. It's like an introduction to the cast of characters in this exhibition. 